we do Halei demu nyu sku Nye pam nene kudlu kula Nye pangi raga la gena Nye pam nene kudlu kula Ibu loke nungoto ni beto sola Ibu loke dato ni beto do Bengi Eh eh Bengi kongo Lamin Na Lamin ke jule nori nte nyame lamin Kabona ulokono Ulokono nyi taimo lamin Pabi lengi Mungkinkah? Eh, baru jam mana nak ramu dua? Mungkin tu mina kan ngalami je, pun file tala. Lami juga nori ni. Lami tu ada siram sama ni bingkir. Jalan solo solo sign ni nol bukan mula kumur. Mungkin tu. Nam. Itu di antara lalu lami hak kilo dia tak bagai karamungut. Anu sign teng ministry kau di nunggu lesi suoko. Nama kita boleh dengar dia. Si si betul, si betul, si betul, si betul. Bagus nanti, bagus nanti. Si betul. Alam ni jangan. Alam ni bukan yang nama baru. Alam ni nak kos, nak karnal bulu berdaya. Alam ni je. Mungkin tu. Nam. Mungkin tu mung konten feren feren feren. Jangan ni mune kita. Ini kan lamin ki ulo kono yun tay mungko do. Fede malo lamin yanda sila la bela mo ikala karamu. Kama ni karamu ulo soro ni nako fasi ka ulo kono ko. Ah ah karamu ulo soro. Iko karamu ulo soro nda amake kom holiday lem. Mungko do. Dini wu yanda sila la ala karamu la mo ya men kabe mfue. Mung kontande. Mung kontana nda mandi. Ala yun kombo kura. Adanda ala kombo lendo la jang karamu ulo soro nda duro. Kabe kura wama adanda ala kombo. Iko ndo lfana yana karamu ulo soro nda. Karamu ulo soro nda. Lamin adara lo yino la. Amantara fena so kono. Ala mune ke la. Lamin, if you find a man who can you make a rajot. No fine, no fine. You can't No fine, no fine. You're not fine. Me na kan tembita, tembita ah teri maning fatu. Ha. Tembita la sugar. I don't know what baby siri be la moika. Ah fatu dance. I'm gonna tembita jere ni subala. I'm gonna tembita jere ni subala. Talanta ni kilo waro. Ha. If be siri jere. Seven ten kilo waro kilo laba. But Lamin bita ka ulo kono nyinta mo. Ah Lamin. Amanda la fine la. Ite ite ni ni kwa ni ma si ya kari na ni si ma la mo rajot. Mune kake afanye mani ara ndi alom. Afanye lentel chikot. Afanye lentel mbeke. Ete ba lentel mbeke chikirite. Ah? Ni ma kara mbeku kele. Yaje nate kara namba sa malaya etarije. Bari nyara ndi. Kombo kura hongo fin dira kombo. Ite nara yede ni songa baya. Kwa lami mani ara ulo kwa. Aru kara mwole besona. Afanye mbeke. Kwa mkoto wa wole nati. Bala ngale nye lami. Kuntala. Kombo kura hongo ikafo mewe kombo kura hongo asototal. Asototal wola kine kwe si suwo kono. Bari ni kwe si suwo kono. Ibe. Ibe karang ol di ke la radio ni telal to, hani telal masuk tu, tonya emang telal sudah bunga. Bar radio be bunle angkot to. Ha, betul. Bar di sana I see I alam. Saya abu kalau jadi. Kalau tak abu bulaj. Abu kalau jadi. Kamu kalau jadi. Radio abu ulama lah. Ibe mana falaj? Ibe la karang di luar kalau jele. Di sana ber radio korang mana karang? Ah, ilah subjek tu baby jele. I baby jele. Ola nangka cuci mui. Fadang saya olia. Mungkin mereka mereka nangka di luar jele. Ika dum bunga dekat kalau abu. Asal tu tal de. Lain malam ni karang olah de. Bari lafta alal, idea longo, every year second wala fourth. Muna hivyo, maafu ndeogo, folesi ni namba, ndeogo lesi ni namba. Sai mbafu ke unkoto, wale fomo yangu lindi, yalo fomo kete, but you fanya bula taka wako na mei nati jambi. La mimi nanta karana, nte lbeji kwa bengi neka. Ya bula kara, uloka na taka kila ria bambalo. Yo be bula jengo unkoto, dini ngo isi ayala ayala lesi ni namba irajot. Wada kama muda karamu mwanzo, la mimi nanta kara si suala. La mimi nanta si la le ayala lesi ni. Tano koko na kosi malo. Kila ria mwe bingi la kumama. Saya ini tuh, ni mana kerana? Mengkiu berusaha. Mana nak korang lalai dah baru sahaja orang ini baru, mau baru orang ini aje. Ha. Abang je, ni baru ngam orang tu mending membuli an. Yo. Kalau nyara nyara, orang orang kafe ni mula. Kalau nyara nyara baru sahaja. Kalau ikut aku follow, aji benar ini. Lambat tak mete. Teku, 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 teku. Baru ini korang faham ke? Ya. Emaja, nanti nampol. Ha. Sisol nak kerja, kisah kisah mana sisol? No, 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 nak kafung 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 nyawa. Baru ini nampuk kiri ni, mana nak kafe ni? Ni nampuk korang sorla dah. Ni nampuk korang sorla dah. Angal ni limbet ada banyak yang bodoh di lana. Jangan ni bukan ini pernah. Jangan nada, jangan nada. Kau tahu? Baru faham kita. Nada bungkon, tapi bungkon, tapi bungkon, tapi bungkon. Jangan jangan dok over. Kau tahu? Kita baru ngambil pelol dan dijak. Iya, ada lagi bungkon. Bismillah. 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 Ye fomo tangka si nado lu tangka. Koro, koro.
Hi everyone, I am Mr. Babukar Ao, your chemistry tutor. And today we will start from the properties of salts. But before that, we will go back to our assessment and then we will try and answer the questions together. And then the previous questions were one, that is number one A, what is basicity of an acid? Hello everyone, I am Mr. Babukar Ao your usual chemistry tutor and today our topic of discussion will be based on intermolecular bonding our previous lesson we started chemical bonding and then we are able to divide chemical bonding into two that is we said it is divided into interatomic bonding and also intermolecular bonding we are able to discuss about the interatomic bonding and now today, we will base our discussion on intermolecular bonding. Now we said intermolecular bonding, this is a weak force of attraction between molecules. Between molecules. A weak force of attraction between what? Molecules. Now if you look at the model on the board or on the screen, we have HCl, one molecule of HCl bonding with an other molecule of HCl. Now you can see that in the first molecule of HCl, there's a bond between the hydrogen and the chlorine. So that bond is intra-bond. That bond is containing inside the molecule of HCl. And that type of bond is called covalent bond. You can also see a bond that is represented using a dotted line between one molecule of HCl and another molecule of what? HCl. And this bond is between the chlorine atom from the first molecule and then the what? Hydrogen atom in the second what? Molecule. That means this bond is existing between what? Molecules. That's why we said that bond there is an example of inter- molecular bond that is intermolecular what? attraction but it is what weak so the first bond where we have hydrogen and chlorine in the first molecule that bond is inside inside the molecule that's why we said that bond is what is strong because it's an example of covalent bond so covalent bonds are stronger than what intermolecular bonds so if you have covalent bonds that whole molecules together those molecules when they want to bond to form maybe series of molecules together in that case we have what intermolecular bond or intermolecular attraction which is going to be what weak it's not going to be strong as the covalent bonds and then we have two main examples of intermolecular bonds and then the first one is called hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding and then the second one is van der Waals forces of attraction and then we will go into details to explain what we meant by this hydrogen bonding and also van der Waals forces of attraction now before that let's just have a recap questions based on the what intermolecular bond and also the bondings we were discussing in our previous lessons. Now, number one, a chemical bond is a chemical bond is we have options: a, an electrostatic force of repulsion. That is a. B, an electrostatic force of attraction. C, a physical connection between objects that are touching and then finally d none of the above so we can crack our brains for something like five seconds now the correct option in this question is letter b which is a chemical bond is an electrostatic force of attraction. We move to number two. And number two reads, 
which of the following correctly ranks electrostatic forces from weakest to strongest? That is, we have letter A, covalent bond, ionic bond, intermolecular forces. B, ionic bond, covalent bond, intermolecular forces. C, intermolecular forces, covalent bond, ionic bonds, and D, intermolecular forces, ionic bond, and covalent bonds. So the correct option in this question is letter C, which means intermolecular forces are weaker than covalent bonds, and covalent bonds also are weaker than ionic bonds, which also means ionic bonds are stronger than covalent bonds, and covalent bonds also are stronger than intermolecular forces. Now, number three. Which of the following is pointing to an intermolecular bond? Now we have A, which is pointing an intra bond that is between the hydrogen and oxygen in the same molecule. We also have B, which is pointing between oxygen and hydrogen from different molecules that is inter inter molecular we also have c which is pointing between hydrogen and oxygen which is also intra and we know intra also is types of what is a, uh, or intra is a type of interatomic bond we also have d which is pointing between oxygen and hydrogen and then this oxygen and hydrogen are also found in the same molecule, which means it's a type of what? Intra bond. So the correct option here will be letter B, because B is pointing between oxygen and hydrogen from different molecules. We have number four, and it reads. The arrow below is pointing to an A, intramolecular bond, B, ionic bond, C, intermolecular bond, D, both A and B, and E, both B and C. And then if you look at the model, the arrow is pointing a bond that is between oxygen atom and hydrogen atom, which is in the same molecule, which means the correct option will be letter A, which is intramolecular bond. Now we move to the types of intermolecular bonding. And then initially we said the first type is called hydrogen bonding. Now hydrogen bonding occurs between a very electronegative atom and a hydrogen atom, covalently bonded to an other very electronegative atom. For example, if you have HCl, that is the initial molecules we have, with an other molecule of what? HCl. So the bond between this chlorine and hydrogen is termed as intermolecular because the bond is between what? Molecules of HCl. So the bond between hydrogen and chlorine is termed as interatomic. Interatomic. And this one will be inter intermolecular. But here we want to discuss about the nature of hydrogen bonding. And then we know that hydrogen bonding 
does not occur in all kinds of molecules. Now, the first thing is, hydrogen is the only atom that can take part in hydrogen bonding because of its small size. Now, this statement now is for what? The cation. Now, any bond that is termed as hydrogen bond, there must be what? Hydrogen atom. And the reason here is because the small nature of hydrogen atom. And again, the electronegative atoms that form hydrogen bonds are F O N that is formed. One, we have fluorine, oxygen, and then we have what? Nitrogen. So that is only these three atoms can form hydrogen bond with what? Hydrogen atom itself. Hydrogen must be present. And then when hydrogen is born in with F, it can form something like HF. When hydrogen is born in with, with oxygen, it can form H2O. When hydrogen is born in with nitrogen, it can form ammonia. So these are the three molecules in which we have hydrogen bond. Now, we use FON, that is F-O-N, that is fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen because, one, they are very electronegative. That is fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen. These, these atoms are very, very what? Electronegative. The second reason is having a very small what? Nuclei. If you draw the bonding of fluorine, oxygen, and nitrogen, you'll come to realize that their nuclei is what? Small. Three, having a relatively high charge density. High charge density. And high charge density is simply the charge of that element or the ratio of the charge of that element to its what? Volume. So, fluorine is minus one, oxygen is minus two, and the nitrogen is minus three. So these three types of atoms have high charge density. Now these are the three reasons why these three atoms can react with hydrogen to form a hydrogen bond. Now we, we still on the note hydrogen bonds with fluorine are what? The strongest. This is or this is only applicable when you consider one of the factors that is the electronegativity of what fluorine because fluorine is more electronegative than what oxygen oxygen also is more electronegative than what the nitrogen so if you use the first factor when fluorine reacts with hydrogen that molecule will be stronger than when oxygen reacts with hydrogen and also when nitrogen reacts with what with hydrogen but then we will try to explain which of these molecules that is which of these atoms when they react with hydrogen is stronger d a hydrogen bond can be formed between two molecules when roman figure one one molecule has a hydrogen atom bonded covalently to a high electronegative atom. That is the first place if you have your HF. We know that this is one molecule of hydrogen fluoride. So the bond between this hydrogen and this fluorine is called intramolecular. And it's a type of what? Covalent bond. Covalent bond. So when this bonds with what? An other molecule of hydrogen fluoride now this type of bond would be what? Hydrogen bond. Because the bond is inter and again also is between hydrogen and fluorine. And fluorine is small. Fluorine has what? High charge density. And also the nucleus of fluorine also is what? Is small. And again too, the other molecule has an atom which is also highly electronegative. Small in size and carries a lone pair of what? 
of electrons. Now, if you draw the bond of this HF, you'll have something like this. You have here two electrons. You have here one, two, three, four, five, six. You see now, they are what? Lone pair electrons. So those, these lone pair electrons now can easily what? Cause some attraction towards the what? Another electronegative atom. If this is fluorine now, when it sees hydrogen now, like this, in this case, we have hydrogen now. So there will be what? This is the hydrogen atom now. There, there will be what? Attraction between this fluorine and what? This hydrogen. Therefore, they will be able to form what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen bond. So this lone pair electron can easily cause what? Attraction. Now we have a model on the board. And you, the first model there, we have four molecules or five molecules of water. And then the model is trying to show where the hydrogen bonds are located. Now you see the central molecule, you have oxygen which is red. And then attach, we have two atoms of hydrogen atoms with are attach. Now you see, oxygen is having two lone pairs of what electron. So it lone pair of electron is try to what cause attraction to the hydrogen atom on the other what water molecule. So therefore, at the end, they will be able to form what hydrogen bonds. Now in the second molecule, you see the oxygen now is partially negative while the hydrogen atoms or the hydrogen there is what partially positive that is the two hydrogen atoms so in the other molecule also you have oxygen still partially negative hydrogen atom partially positive the other hydrogen atom also is partially positive now there will be attraction between the partially negative oxygen from one molecule to the partially positive hydrogen in the other one molecule so that there will be what force which may lead to what attraction and then this attraction now because it's between oxygen and hydrogen now it becomes what hydrogen bond hydrogen bond now we have factors affecting the strength of a hydrogen bond what can determine the strength of hydrogen bond. How will we know this type of hydrogen bond is stronger than the what? The other type of hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond. And then the first factor here is electronegativity. Electronegativity. Now initially we said electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract an electron towards itself. Now, the more electronegative the atoms, the stronger the hydrogen bonds form. That is, if we have F, we have O, we also have N. We know F, that is fluorine, is more electronegative than oxygen. Oxygen also is more electronegative than what? Nitrogen. So we can say, regarding the first factor now, we can say HF, is stronger than what? H2O. H2O also is stronger than what? NH3. But this is just based on the what? Force factor. The second factor reads, number of hydrogen atoms formed. That is, the greater the number of, of intermolecular hydrogen bonds, the stronger the hydrogen bonds form. Now, we consider F and what? O. That is fluorine and oxygen. Here we will have HF and here we will have H2O. So the bond in here, if you draw the structure, we will have something like something like this. See, this fluorine now, this hydrogen. We only have one atom of hydrogen attached to the what? Fluorine. And in this case now, we can have oxygen. We can have here hydrogen, we can also have here what? Hydrogen. Now you see we have two atoms of what? Hydrogen attached to the what? Oxygen. So therefore now, we can say water is stronger than what? HF. Because water forms more what? Hydrogen bonds. The third 
factor is electronic structure of the other what? Other atoms. That is the other atoms that is trying to bond with what? With hydrogen. That is, that is trying to what? Attract hydrogen. Now atoms with lone pairs of electrons that can point towards the hydrogen atom of a nearby molecule form stronger hydrogen bonds. That is, if you don't want now, let's compare let's compare oxygen and what? And nitrogen. Now here, with hydrogen atoms, we'll have H2O. With this, we'll have what? NH3. So if you draw this, we'll have something like this. You have your lone pair of electrons, lone pair of electrons. In this case, you will have one, two, you have your single one, lone pair of electrons. So these two atoms are what? Hydrogen atoms, and these three are what? Hydrogen atoms. This is the nitrogen, and this is the oxygen. But there are more lone pair electrons that can what? Point towards, or that can cause attraction towards what? A nearby what? Molecules. And here we have what? A lone pairs of electrons, that is a single pair of electrons that can what? That can cause attraction towards what? A nearby molecule. Now therefore we can see this water molecule now will have a stronger hydrogen bond than what? Ammonia. Because there are what? More lone pair of electrons in the water molecule than in the what? Ammonia molecule. The fourth factor is bond length. Bond length. Now, when the size of the hydrogen bonding forming atom Y is large, then we can say HY bond length will also be what large and weak hydrogen bond will what will be formed. For example, if we have if you want to compare H is bonding with X. H is bonding with what? With Y. You see now? And then we assume X is having one, two electrons, uh, two cells. And then Y is having what? One, two, three what? Cells. Now, if Y is bonding with what? With hydrogen, there will be what? Great distance. Compared to what? When X is reacting with what? With hydrogen. Because X is just having two cells and Y is having what? Three cells. So there will be what? A greater distance in HY than what? HX. So therefore, when these bonds are all, or when they are both what? Hydrogen bonds, we can see that HX will be what? Stronger. And now HY will be what? Weaker. Because the larger the distance between the hydrogen and the what? Other atom, the weaker the hydrogen bond form, and you can determine this using the size of the other atoms. Now we have some tri questions, and then number five reads: Which of the following molecules has hydrogen bonding as one of its intermolecular forces? Which of the following molecules has hydrogen bonding as one of its intermolecular forces. Letter A, HF, that is hydrogen fluoride. Letter B, HCl, that is hydrogen chloride. And letter C, HBr, which is hydrogen bromide. D is HI, which is hydrogen iodide. And E, all of the above. So in this case, fluorine is smaller than chlorine, smaller than bromine, smaller than what? Iodine. Because of the electronegative nature of fluorine and also its high charge density and also its small nature will make HF to be what? Hydrogen bond and then B, C, D and E will not be what? Hydrogen bonds. Which means the correct option in this question is letter A, which reads HF. Number six, which of the following molecules has hydrogen bonding as one of its IMFs? And then it's the I stands for inter the M molecular and the F forces. That is intermolecular forces. 
intermolecular forces. We have CH3F that is methyl fluoride. We also have CH3Cl which is methyl chloride. We also have C which is HBr which is hydrogen bromide. We also have NO2 which is nitrogen 4 oxide and E says none of the above. Now the correct option in this question is letter A because it is where you are having fluorine burning with what? With hydrogen atoms. Now whenever these three elements that is F O N form whenever they are reacting with what? With hydrogen, we assume hydrogen bond is taking place. So no other atom apart from these three can form. The Andakian, the Serene, at dinner, the Vayatu. The Lidunduchi at dinner eatum Amul Dio. The Molem Lidunduchi at dinner, Munge Ut Lumulek. Minit the Ute Lumulek. Domino Oe Jangoro. The Nekechi Yaraminit Chibitiba, Walachi Birba. You item Louis Out pour Dundel. Liga Hamnenak Moblen Jan Contel. Neken Lo Hamnele Mungi Dunde Chinit. The Auchi Gemenum, Valachi Bakanum, Valachi Bottom. Motach Mune Li Nekatul Febri Chaha. The Febri Adinella. You know Ganao Halat Mojur Jeff. Je suis dit que je suis dit que je suis dit que je dit que je suis que je je suis un homme qui a été nommé Rahas. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Rahas. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Rahas. Je suis un homme qui a été nommé 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 Je suis un Je suis un je suis un homme qui a été nommé 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 Je suis un homme qui a été je suis un homme qui a été nommé Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Je suis un homme qui a été nommé nous sommes Gambia, 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 nous c'est ce que nous avons fait. Nous avons fait un rafale. 
kukuken wara tuko chakale te yaw ya wara dimbele doktori yene bon nak so gise tangor bu jeggi dayo ci sa yaram sakat bo muna to xam fi mu joge new dole go xamne gi yang koy yek ñu ne na nga telephone 1025 ndax nga woné né soxla nga ndimbal lolu dal soko defé mu ngi melni nek nga docteur ndax ki nga xamné moy fexé bé buñu fexé fever bi law danaka bokk na ci nga xamné ci moy docteur yi ndax fexé fever ak fajj ko ñoy am